Just last week, we had a chance to look at the brand new 2021 Genesis GV80 SUV. And you know what? We were pretty impressed. But what if you don't want an SUV and you want a sedan? Well, they got you covered here. This is the brand new 2021 Genesis G80. Just like its SUV sibling, this G80 really, really stands out. It has a very striking appearance, especially this grille. Now, a lot of you have commented, you either love it or you can't stand it. I'm in the camp that I really like this grille when it was first introduced with the G90. I was a big fan of it. So uh, this one's chrome in their G matrix pattern, what they call it. And it's like a crest. And you have some nice black accents of the grille down below. Standard are LED lamps all the way around quad LED headlamps. The overall shape looks very, very sleek. I like how it tapers down in the back. Now, uh, size-wise, compared to the GV80, this wheelbase is slightly a little bit longer, and the entire vehicle is a little bit longer than that GV80. In Canada, we only get two trim models, the 2.5T Advance and the 3.5T uh, Prestige, which is this one here. Uh, just like the GV80, you do get the proximity key, so just a little touch there, and it locks. And same problem though with the GV80 and this G80, it doesn't extend to the back doors. Come on, Genesis, you gotta get with that. This is a super luxury or premium vehicle, and you really should have access to that comfort uh, in the rear as well. The 2.5 gets 19 inch wheels, whereas this Prestige 3.5 gets 20 inch wheels. Now, check out the back. All G80s come standard with a power uh, trunk with the smart trunk feature. So you just stand by, you heard it, it beeps three times. If you're still here on the fourth beep, up it comes. Uh, of course, for a mid-size sedan, lots of room. I was on a shoot the other day and I filled this right up with uh, light stands and two tripods and teleprompters and it all uh, fit in here, zero issue. What I like also is the actual arms for the actual trunk are enclosed so you can put things underneath it. You don't have to worry about these arms hitting them when you close. And when you close it, this is a true power truck. So when you when it comes open, it's not just spring loaded, it is power. And you have two buttons, one for closing and one for closing and locking. So uh, one button there, down it comes. If you don't want to use a smart truck, you can disable that or you can disable it with the key fob. And you can also control the actual trunk opening in this emblem in the rear view camera area here. So just push that, up it comes, and that easy. You also get your LED tail lamps, and just like the GV80, you get the similar crest-shaped exhaust finishers, which do look really, really good. Now, let's go for a drive. Okay, when I sit in here, obviously this feels very, very similar to the GV80 that we just went and had last week. So this is back to back. Um, this is the sedan. And just like the GV80, this comes with two power plant options. There is the 2.5 liter four cylinder turbo that puts out 300 horsepower. And then you get the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 that the prestige that we have here has. And that has 375 horsepower and 391 pound feet of torque. Uh, both are matched to an eight speed automatic transmission. And in Canada, we only get all wheel drive. So there is no rear wheel drive option. There are two trim levels, the 2.5 T advanced and the the 3.5 uh, T Prestige. And you know what? Um, with either one that you choose, they come very, very, very well uh, loaded, well, very, very well equipped. And the difference in price, the 2.5 T is $66,000 and the 3.5 T is $76,000. So $10,000 difference. Uh, so what do you get for $10,000? Uh, you get a lot. First of all, you get uh, 75 more horsepower with that twin turbo V6 to start out with. Then you get 20 inch wheels opposed to 19 inch wheels. On the inside, they're both very well equipped. Uh, standard head up display, uh, standard leather seats, but the Prestige gets Napa leather seats and they get 16 way power adjustable uh, driver's seat for 
the prestige and it also has this ergo feature which is kind of like a, a little mini massage um, all come with standard heated uh, front and rear seats and ventilated front seats as well you also get a standard panoramic roof a few other things that Prestige does get though, it gets that beautiful 12.3 inch gauge cluster, the digital cockpit with the three dimensional look to it. I said it in my past video, um, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I've never seen anything like it before and unfortunately the camera just won't show it. So if you get a chance to have a look at it, uh, you can control how, how strong it is too. I have it on max because I do like that three-dimensional display. So you get that with the Prestige. Um, all G80s come with the 14 and a half inch infotainment display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And in Canada, uh, both G80s come standard with the 21 speaker Lexicon system as well. The Prestige also comes with adaptive suspension with road preview. Uh, so there is a camera in behind the rear view mirror. It's scanning the road ahead and it's going to adjust the uh, suspension on what it sees. If it sees some uh, holes or potholes or deviations, it's going to adjust the suspension for that. Another thing that Prestige has is that remote smart park assist. So not only will it actually go and uh, find a parking spot for you, back it in or parallel park, but you can actually uh, do it from outside the vehicle using your key fob um, so if you live in an apartment or somewhere where you have to park in a tight spot that could be a very good feature for you one big improvement of the G80 and the GV80 is the new highway drive assistant 2 um, there is a full video that I did to show you how well it works uh, you can go for minutes at a time on the highway hands off feed off, it's going to control everything, it's very, very smart, uh, and it works very, very well, and, and perfect for super, super long, long drives. Okay, we have a warning here. This uh, did also tell me that there's a, a traffic camera up ahead. So um, yeah, that could save you some dollars right there. Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to drive the 2.5 uh, four-cylinder turbocharged engine yet. It would have been really nice to drive uh, both the 2.5 and the 3.5 back to back to see what the difference is. But I can tell you this 3.5, the 375 horsepower is very, very smooth. The torque is good um, and it's matched very well to this eight speed automatic transmission. In regular comfort mode, the, the shifts are basically seamless up and down. This adaptive suspension really isolates uh, the driver and the passenger from all the outside bumps and, uh, and it's very quiet in here. Um, now the biggest difference between this and the GV80 though is the lower center of gravity and you really do feel it. You know, it is nice to drive a car. There's no doubt about that. If it's my money though, this is $76,000, the GV80 is $85,000. So we're talking a difference of $9,000. And you know what, for nine grand, I'm gonna probably go for the GV80 just because I need more of the utility. But if you don't need an SUV, you know what, go for the super luxury, the better handling sedan, hands down. It's way more engaging to drive, that's for sure. One thing that I forgot to mention when we did the GV80 review, and I'm gonna mention it here on this one, is when you buy any Genesis that is in Canada, you actually get not only five years of warranty, but you also get five years of roadside assistance, and you get five years of scheduled maintenance. And here's the best thing. When you have to get some surface done on your vehicle, they'll actually come to your house, they'll drop off a courtesy car, they'll take your vehicle, get it serviced, do the maintenance, and then bring it back to you, and that's all included uh, with your purchase of a Genesis in Canada. Now that is worry-free driving. You know, I was talking to a few friends and some other people have also messaged and they were saying they're skeptical about the brand uh, Genesis. They're saying there's, there's no lineage uh, to this luxury brand and, you know, or history. And the thing that I have to say is that with history, everything has to start somewhere. And so there has to be a beginning. Every uh, luxury brand out there had a beginning. And so does Genesis. Uh, and if you look at the parent company of Genesis, which is Hyundai, it's not like they just started building cars last year. Uh, 
they've been around for a long time. They have put the time in and year after year, their products have just been getting better and better and better. And Genesis, right from day one, they've been at the very top of JD Power and Associates initial quality survey. They are doing a really, really good job. And for the people that are skeptical about this brand, I'm telling you, go out, sit in one, drive one, then tell me what you think about this vehicle. Uh, Genesis is here and they're here to stay. Uh, they're gonna be here for a long, long time and the competitors really have to look out. That's it for our look at the Genesis G80. It's a shorter review because this is very similar. A lot of the features on this uh, I've just went over on the brand new GV80. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure to click the link on that GV80. Uh, I appreciate you watching the video, spending the time. Uh, like the video if you like it, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Everyday Reviews. Cheers.